Hello everyone. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. I hear a lot of people saying that oh, we're tired of SSTOs. Do something else. And I will, I will, I will. What one more. One more, one more, one more, one more. Now I've always actually wanted to try some of the older NASA um concepts, concept shuttles, concept technologies, concept designs. And one of the ones I saw was the Star Raker. Hold on, how's Star wait 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 wait. Let's take, take a, a look. look. Star Star Raker. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Mm, images. Hmm. Ah, yes. This bad memo gemma right here. Supposedly an SSTO from what? The 1960s? 70s? 60s? Ish? Yeah. Star Raker specs. Mm hmm. Ah. Okay, so I'm seeing a little bit of a difference in design. Like I see some with this tail edge back, or the wing edge back here that's flattened out and then it goes into a more delta shape. And then you got other designs that are more just com almost completely delta. However, it's looking more and more like it is this kind of wing shaped. Oh, look, it's square. Okay, let's see here. It's uh, oh, that's cargo bay, right? Wait a minute. What the fuck? fuck? Is that a staircase? It's like three decks. How big are we talking about here? Oh, wow. Wow, yeah, this, this, this is gonna be a big, this, this a big boy. Well, hold on, we can actually use this as a, as a reference because there are space shuttle parts in Kerbal Space Program. So if I can build a space shuttle or something close to it, and then, wow, this is like three space shuttles long. But also, interestingly enough, we also have the cockpit in Kerbal Space Program, which if we take this and just put it on here, it's already looking like a cockpit and a half. We might have a part that's actually almost perfect for this. What's the wings? <sighs> Okay. All right. So here's the cockpit for the space shuttle, and of course it was like double this size, right? Something like that. Something like this, sort of, maybe close enough. But for cargo, 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 boom. The structural T50 structural tube sounds nice. Ah. Okay. Okay. Make it bigger. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Ooh. Yes. 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 yes, yes. Obviously, we can't use this. Or can we? No, we can't. We have to make my own somehow. Hmm. All right, this is the biggest fairing we have. Oh, shit. What about a nose cone? Do we have one that's big enough? No. No. Hello. Hi there. Uh, oh. Oh. You know, we could possibly make, uh, you know, a relatively decent shuttle orange tank looking thing with this. But anyway, I digress. Where, where were we? What were we doing? Uh, hello? Forgot. So we need to somehow make this aerodynamic, which means... Because the, the neck opens up, as, as, as we saw before. The neck opens opens up to the right. So in order to make this all aerodynamic, in order for it to think that it's aerodynamic, we need to take this and make it disappear down here, for instance. I'll open this up for cargo, but in the game, the game will see this nose first, and then this, so it'll think that it's all one piece. That way we can safely put something here to attach it, to open and close, but we will need to make that one piece as well, so it is also aerodynamic. Dynamic. So we will have to do a fairing. So we'll do the fairing trick. The trick, of course, that I'm referring to is when we made the dragless or near dragless SSTO video. You can find that in my videos. Essentially, you put a nose cone inside of a fairing, then put that fairing over the nose cone, and then end cap it in the back with another nose cone. If you just looked at your screen and went, meh, don't worry, I'll leave a little thing you can click on at the end of this video. Now, while building this SSTO, you have to remember, and please, 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 try to understand. This is Kerbal Space Program we're talking about. Its physics engine is, well, not the greatest. In fact, there are mods out there that do a hell of a lot better in calculating physics and weight and all the circuit stuff. So the Star Raker that I'm about to make, I want to try to make it look like the actual space plane. I am not trying to go for an SSTO record-breaking perfect build. This is more of a look-alike, look-alike, what? what? Look alike, yeah. L look alike contest. So I will try to streamline where I can, but for everything else, it's going to be more aesthetics. So I can already guarantee you that this thing's going to be in Kerbal Space Program's game mechanics. It's going to be more closer related to a flying brick with parachutes. Not going to be very aerodynamic at all. But the places where I can make it aerodynamic, I'll try. Now, ultimately, I know this thing had like the equivalent of ten scramjet 
ramjet engines. These were suppo these were supposedly engines that would that would be able to act like a ramjet and then into a scramjet and then and, you know kind of be able to switch into different types of modes. Sort of like sort of like the saber engine, but not quite all the way to rocket mode. <clears throat> Obviously, we don't have anything like that in KSP. We have ramjets, but after looking at the size of this thing and the size of the ramjets that the game gives you, that's not going to work. That's just, that's simply not going to work. So unfortunately, I had to make a judgment call. And since we're going for more of a lookalike contest here, I switched the jet engines out for actual rocket engines, which it actually looks nice. It looks really, really nice. And, and if you didn't know any better, you would think that they look more like uh, jet engines. So for a Kerbal Space Program, this thing works better as an SSRT or single stage rocket technology. Terminology used by McDonnell Douglas before they became Boeing back like in the 50s. It was before the terminology SSTO was a thing. So after what I can only think of is probably anywhere between 12 to 14 hours of testing and designing, I finally got the thing to work and all it did was, uh, all, all I did left over was pretty much just tweak it, slap some flags on it, make it look nice. I was able to get it to have a go, in, um, the payload that's in orbit. Off the top of my head, I, I can't remember how much it was. It probably could hold a little bit, something a little bit heavier, but I wasn't going for heavy as much as I was size of payload. It'd be pretty cool to actually have, it can hold a lot now, don't get me wrong, with size wise. I'm not sure about weight wise, but definitely size wise. It'd be pretty cool to actually try to make a space station with this thing. Although it is rocking almost 1,000 parts. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, probably not, not for a while, no.
Well everyone, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. This has been the Star Raker stock build. And for stock, I think it looks pretty damn good. If you're curious about what kind of mods I use, just check the description at the bottom of this video. I want to thank you all again for coming, and if you really, 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 really liked what you saw, consider hitting that like button for me. The more likes this video gets, the more YouTube will actually give a damn. <laughs> and if you really, 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 really loved what you saw, consider subscribing. I upload often, and mostly, a lot of times, mostly SSTO stuff. But I do do other things, so, you know, like the Duna Colony, I think I'm going to work on that this week. I know some of you are like, yes, finally! Sorry, I get a little carried away space planes you know this channel also has a membership if you're interested in joining if you join up you get a bunch of little cool emojis and badges and stuff pretty cool check it out but anyway that's all the time i have for today again thank you everybody for being here and showing your support and i'll see you all in the next video bye for now bye bye